So ladies and gentlemen, first runner-up is Miss DFW, Christine Tang. Our new Miss Texas is Miss North Texas in Hall. Oh, that's so much. I love that, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is such a reaction. As the 78th Miss Texas Scholarship pageant wrapped up last week, a new Miss Texas emerged. She is Miss North Texas, Ivana Hall, and she joins us this morning to share her journey and how it's going so far. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And thank you for letting me wear your sash. I'm really, this is a big moment. Okay, so you have, we see these these when you get crowned, and what is going, I'm sure you've gotten asked this a million times, but what is going through your head when they say the other girl's name and then do you do the like addition in your head and you're like wait that means it's me I was well when Christine and I were standing there Miss DFW and they said you know they they were going to announce the first runner up I'm thinking okay I just need to hear the D if I just hear the D then I know okay I won but I it was still surreal when they called her name as first runner up and I was just saying oh my god oh my god and <laughs> and then trying to breathe I was, told, I was telling myself to breathe because you know you're just freaking out at that moment is your family in the audience going just so crazy I mean like were there people in the audience that like you could hear the squeals like the mom squeal in the audience I had to ask people what my mother's reaction was because I know she was freaking out and they said she just was yelling Jesus throughout the stand <laughs> so what was I, your talent in the pageant I sang opera and I did habanera from the opera Carmen oh how marvelous yes. Yes, oh I feel gosh. like that character really emulates me and the woman that I am and that's such a powerful uh, aria mm-hmm. that I'm thinking you're such a tiny little person mm-hmm. Where does that come from, that force to p- propel that voice out? Mm-hmm. Well, she's just a bold character, and I'm, I consider myself a bold woman, and I go after the things that I want. And so I, really getting to play that character really helped me to perform that well. Mm-hmm. Avada, what will you do now with The Crown? What is your platform? My platform is HIV, AIDS, Education, and Resources. When I was 17, my uncle passed away of AIDS, and he lost his 22-year battle. And um, oh, I, started, I started volunteering with um, AIDS arms of Dallas and even DIFA um, and I've done some work in their office and works a few of their charity events. We well. love DIFA yes, around we here. we do, we do. So how do you see that working for you as you as you get older and you move into a career? Do you have a career in mind and does it does it have anything to do with your platform now? Yes I do. I'm a government political science major at Texas Women's University and want to run a campaign later on in my life and then even run for office myself and oh. be an advocate, continue to be an advocate for those living with HIV AIDS. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Okay so you're preparing for Miss America. I am. September 15th are the finals. Have the preparations already started? I'm sure. Yes, yes. We've gotten right to work, so. What do you do to get to work Mm -hmm. for that? Well, for starters, like later today, I'll be going to what is called mental management, and they help get you mentally prepared. There's so much press going on and so many people who want to take pictures, so they try to help keep you grounded and then help you to focus on every phase of competition as it comes. Do you get overwhelmed like we were talking about? Not anymore. I used to when I first started competing, but the more you do it and the more you stay focused, you have to remember that it's all in your preparation, and then when you get there, that's the time to enjoy and really let the experience happen. Oh, so what? how many years have you been competing? This was actually my fifth year. I, I will tell people perseverance is so important. I met Heather French Henry when I went to Miss America a few years ago to go watch and she said she wasn't crowned Miss Kentucky until her fifth year. So that was very inspiring and I just knew I had to continue. Do you think that you were better th- this, well obviously, this year in past years? Did you notice a difference with yourself though? I noticed a difference in my maturity. Mm-hmm. Um, really coming into my own. I already thought that I was an independent individual but I really let myself, you know, come into adulthood and really take on all the responsibilities of being an adult. And we want you to welcome Miss Texas team who's oh my gosh, standing you over there. You are so adorable. Cute. Oh. Come squeeze in. Sheridan. And what is your name? I'm Sheridan Donovan, Miss Texas Outstanding Teen. Oh, oh you wow. are just adorable. Where Thank are you, you from? I'm from Houston. Okay. Oh, so we- tell us about that competition. How is that competition different? It has the teen, well, the teen portion and instead of swimsuit we do fitness which is a little crop top and shorts and then we still do talent and interview and onstage question. What was your talent? I'm a dancer. I've been dancing for 13 years and so I did a contemporary dance to Papa Can You Hear Me. I love And do you have this. any question you want to ask? <laughs> yeah, are you going to interview each other now? <laughs> do you have anything you want to ask? <laughs> Let's see. Ivana, mm-hmm. what are you most looking forward to this year? 
the sponsors. The sponsors, we have so many great sponsors and so many scholarship donors. I got $12,000 that I wow. can apply to my education, but I also get to work with Grubbs Infinity, um, residents at North Dallas, and I also get to work with Dillard. So the amazing sponsors, I'm really blessed. That's incredible. That's now, great. you were talking about interview questions. What, has there been one question, and maybe you can't, you can't answer this, mm -hmm. but that someone asked you and you just wanted to look at them and be like, Really? You're really going to ask me that? Like, you really want me to answer that question? I've gotten some goofy questions, but I think the most goofy You're like, is, that was is actually that, the goofy. If you, if you could be a fruit, what fruit would you be? And so I've actually had to sit around and think no, about this. No, seriously? Yes. And so what fruit would you I'd be? I'd be a pomegranate. Why? Because it's complex like me, so. <laughs> At least you've got an answer ready for that one. Good for you. <laughs> uh, and what fruit would you be? I'd be a strawberry because I have red hair, so my friends call me Aww. Strawberry Mama. Oh, <laughs> well, aren't y'all adorable? I'd be a kiwi. Because <laughs> it's short and round. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will be checking in again with Amana Hall as uh, she gets ready to compete for Miss American Atlantic City on September 15th. Thank you, We both are rooting for, being for you. Here. Thank you. Thank you.